Good afternoon. I'm Marcelo, professor at UFMG, a university in Brazil. Thank you for your presence. It's a pleasure to be here to talk about polydimethylsiloxanes modified titanium dioxide coatings with self-cleaning properties. Firstly, I will talk about self-cleaning behavior. The definition of self-cleaning uh, surfaces is quite broad. Usually involves uh, surfaces of some specific materials which can be capable of keeping themselves clean. External sources such as rainwater or sun can remove soiling formed by organic or inorganic substances or even microorganisms like bacteria. Different mechanisms are involved depending on specific structural and textural characteristics as superhydrophilicity, superhydrophobicity, and photocatalysis. Uh, the self-cleaning functionality of the surfaces are commonly inspired by natural phenomena uh, observed in lotus leaves and gecko feet, among others. The way, uh, the way a drop of water wets a surface allows the removal of inorganic soil. For example, if a surface is covered with a thin film of titanium dioxide, as shown here, a typical semiconductor, uh, extreme wettability can occur by dragging uh, the inorganic particles uh, showing this image. On a substrate with a specific texture, for example, a drop of water can roll off the surface and carrying these particles. Another mechanism involves the action of ultraviolet or visible radiation, which can excite a semiconductor, forming uh, electron hole pairs and af uh, after uh, free radicals. A uh, species capable of photodegradates uh, organic pollutants. Many recent studies have focu focused uh, on the development of surfaces with hybrid properties, materials with photocatalytic and superhydrophobic properties. In this case, it's possible uh, to observe both mechanisms and maintain a surface clean. A uh, tree material synthesis approach can be used for the development of this type of materials. Uh, the first one involves the preparation of nanocomposite with specific morphology and roughness. The second approach involves uh, the preparation uh, of uh, surfaces with roughness pattern using, for example, organic molecules, polymers as templates. And finally, we have the surface modified with a semiconductors uh, with hydrophobic polymeric agents. This strategy was used by a doctoral student from our research group. Uh, in this work, uh, the soil gel method was used to prepare an alcoholic solution of titanium alkoxide to deposit thin films on glass coupons by the deep coating method. Uh, the films was calcined at 400 degrees Celsius and 500 degrees Celsius and modified uh, using UVA radiation. Uh, with uh, two hydrophobic agents. The first one was hydroxyl terminated polydimethylsiloxane, and the second one was vinyl terminated polydimethylsiloxane, as shown here. Uh, the XPS technique was used to identify the chemical bonds established between titanium dioxide 
and hydrophobic agents. The XPS spectrum of titanium dioxide calcined at 400 degrees Celsius and modified with hydroxy agent shows the formation of a titanium oxygen silicon bond as well as the presence of uh, silica due to the degradation of polymer with temperature as shown here. And here we can see Im an image showing the mechanism. The thin film sample modified with vinyl agent shows the presence of titanium oxygen carbon bonds and showing this image. The spectra in the ultraviolet visible region show that there is practically no difference in light transmission through thin films, even after modification with polymers. Diffuse reflectance spectroscopy revealed the optical band gap values of the samples and show that uh, there is practically no variation in these values. It is stable. We can see the band gap values of samples treated first, uh, in at, first at 400 degrees Celsius and 500 degrees Celsius. The AFM images show that the morphology and texture of the titanium dioxide thin films and those modified with hydroxy agent are very similar while the titanium dioxide film modified with vinyl showed a consider considerable higher roughness value. This peculiar morphology is characteristic, of, is characteristic of the polymer that formed a micrometric layer on the titanium dioxide surface. In this sample, uh, it was also evidenced that there was a uh, heterogeneous functionalization on the surface and that part of the titanium, oxi titanium oxide film was exposed. These characteristics are important for the film to present the hybrid char character of hydrophobicity associated with photocatalytic activity. The roughness of the titanium dioxide films and also those modified with a hydro hydroxy agent cal calcined at 500 degrees Celsius were rougher than due to the increased crystallinity of the anatase phase present. The film modified with vinyl agent also showed that Heterogeneous functionalization occurred, but with a greater number of exposed portions of titanium dioxide. Here we can see the images of a drop of water uh, on the surface of the prepared films. The surface of the titanium dioxide film calcined at 400 degrees Celsius was hydrophilic, as shown here. The presence of the hydroxy agent reduce uh, the wettability, while the presence of vinyl agent made the surface hydrophobic. As we can see here, for 500 degrees Celsius, film is comparatively showed lower contact angle values. In photodegradation tests, we can highlight the titanium dioxide sample calcined at 500 degrees Celsius, as shown here in black, uh, which presented better photodegradation results for methylene blue dye when compared to the titanium dioxide sample treated at 400 degrees Celsius uh, in green. The sample with the hydroxy agent showed very low activity, which indicates that the film of this hydrophobic agent completely covered 
the titanium dioxide surface. It's not worth that the sample of titanium dioxide at 500 degrees modified with vinyl agent presented photodegradation results similar to those of pure titanium dioxide, as shown here in blue, which is very desirable. Catalytic cycles for the titanium dioxide modified with a vinyl agent sample confirmed that chemical stability of the prepared material, since the percentage of photodegradation the, and the contact angle shown here, undergo uh, small variations after five cycles of reuse. We are currently working on modifying the structure of titanium dioxide with chromium and molybdenum through doping and heterostructure formation, which is dependent on the concentration. Some results have shown that there is a modification of band gap values of, uh, with displacement to the vi visible region, which expands the spectrum of application for these coatings. It's, it was notable that the vinyl hydrophobic agent, as shown here, anchored itself better on the surface of the chromium, chromium film, leading to high, higher contact angle values. X-ray mapping for titanium dioxide uh, modified with molybdenum shows that there is a homogeneous distribution of molybdenum throughout the polycrystalline films. For these types of films, we verified uh, superhydrophilicity behavior at uh, various concentrations of molybdenum. As final consideration, some points can be highlighted regarding the preparation of these self-cleaning thin films, such as the search for uh, low-cost, simple, and scalable technology, more detailed assessment of stability and resistance to working conditions, use of more environmentally friendly materials, and advances in the effective combination of superhydrophobicity and photocatalysis. Thank you for your attention.